Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Advanced Technology Bairana. In today's session, I'm going to do the password recovery and uh, the recovery I will do for Cisco router, 1900 series uh, router and model is 1941. But uh, first discuss why we need the password recovery. Every network engineer have to do the password recovery for the IT devices, either Cisco or non-Cisco for some unusual situations where you lost the password. Sometime uh, the people get uh, out of contact, people fire. And uh, in this situation, you need to do the password recovery without losing the data. So every engineer uh, face this, uh, this uh, issue or this situation, and uh, he should be aware how to do this uh, recovery in a successful way. So let's start our lab for today. And uh, I will show you how to do the recovery for this router and what the command. It is very easy if you follow uh, the relevant steps and the command and you will do the recover in less than five minutes. So uh, let's start our lab. I will share my screen and I will show you the command line. So I will connect with the with my console port with the correct port, and uh, the process is same as uh, you connect with your router to manage it. The only difference once you uh, reboot your device or you have to power off and restart it, you have to press the key control break from your keyboard. Okay, and this one you have to press within the thirty second of uh, the start of the device. So as you see. As soon as it is started, I press control break key for three to four times. And once I will press this one, it will bypass the NVRAM and it will take directly to the Roman mode of the router or the switch. The boot process will be normal. It will load the IOS, but it will bypass the NVRAM. Okay, so now you see I'm in the Roman mode. Once I'm in the Roman mode, I will put the command config 0x2142. What this command do, it will told my router to bypass the NVRAM configuration from your router during the reload. Okay, I will press enter. And then I will do command reset. Once I will do the reset, my router will be rebooted. And in the next reboot, it will not load the configuration uh, from the NVRAM. It will bypass the configuration. What is the Now my device is reloaded after giving the reset command and you will see it will bypass the configuration from the NVRAM. Okay, so now you see it is uh, the system configuration dialog is uh, showing and it's saying would you like to enter the initial configuration? So basically what happened, when I put the command 0x2142, it bypassed the startup configuration from the NVRAM and uh, it does not have configuration right now. So I will make it no, you have to make it no. Okay, so you see my router is uh, uh, loaded without the configuration. So I will just mention enable and if I do show running config, I will not find any configuration there because the configuration does not load from the NVRAM, the config startup configuration, okay? So in the show running, there is no configuration. Here you have to be make sure. If you have your running device, there is some configuration and uh, uh, you do write memory or to copy uh, running startup, your whole configuration will be overwrite in the startup configuration. 
So if it is your uh, working environment and there is some important data, you have to be careful. You does not need to enter write memory or copy running startup. Okay. So what I will do now, if I put here command show startup configuration, I can see the configuration. You see over here, my password is uh, uh, right now it is uh, hidden due to the secret command and I have some configuration here. Same thing, I have configuration for the interfaces. So this configuration is saved in my startup. So what I have to do now to save my configuration, I have to copy the command, copy startup to running configuration. So this way, what will happen? My uh, startup configuration, which is right now bypass, will be loaded to my running configuration. And from now, if I do show running config, I will have the running configuration for my interfaces and whatever you have. So what I will do now, I will go on top. This is my password, okay, which is in the hidden form, which I forget some other person configure or whatever situations happen. I have to remove this one and reset to the new password. For this one, I will do one thing. I will give command show run section username, the short key, config key. I will make it no. I will I can remove it or I can make the new password. So but, uh, but the better option is to remove the old uh, password because this is in the hidden and uh, in the in the machine language. So we could not know what is the password. So right now I will make a new password, username Cisco privilege 15. Either I can do secret or not secret, but I will do it Cisco. Okay. Now it is Cisco Cisco. If I come back, show run section username. Okay, my new username and password is configured. I can do one thing. I will do another username as well without doing secret. Privilege 15 password admin. Okay, so right now I configure two password, one as hidden and uh, one as unhidden or unencrypted so now i will do it show run section username and i have two passwords okay so what i will do now i change the password so i will uh, save this configuration copy running to startup okay so what will happen when i upload uh, reload the device it will it is by bypass the configuration because of the configuration registered value, which is 0x2142. I am able to log in. Then what I did, I configure, I copy the configuration from startup to running to upload my configuration. I remove the password. I put the new password. I save the configuration. And the final step, which is left now, I have to change the configuration registered value back to the default, which is 0x2102. Okay, so when I will give the command config register 0x2102 and reload my device, in the next reload, it will take the startup configuration from the NVRAM and it will boot as normal with my configuration. I'll go to the configuration config register 0x2102. Okay, config register. 0x2102, this is the, uh, the default uh, conf uh, config register value for the router. Okay, so what we'll do now, I will do once again copy running startup to save this value and I will do reload. Okay, one thing more I'll show you here. If I do show version, this is very important to, to show you. If you notice in the last, it is clearly mentioned that config register is 0x2142, which is the current value, will be 0x2102 at the next reload. Okay, so it's mean I put the correct command for the configuration register. And this is common for most of the Cisco router, 1700, 1800, and uh, 1900. 
and some uh, router have a different value and uh, i will discuss in some other video so i'll make it reload And the process for recovering the lost password has been completed now. So my uh, router is boot now and it is asking me for the username the one i mentioned as admin okay i will put it back okay i'll put admin admin okay and my router started and i can see my show ip interface brief it should unsign and uh, my configuration is there so this is the very simple process for recovering the lost password for the Cisco router. So guys, finally, uh, we did the lab for the recovery of the password. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. And we will see you soon with another subject. And uh, most probably I will do the recovery for the uh, Catalyst uh, Cisco switches in the next upcoming video. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye.